Hey guys, what up? Spearmonger187 here. And welcome back for a new match of Shattered Fates. Yep, Shattered Fates. It is beta. Beta time. And we are still playing our mage. And we're still playing some Fortified Wisps. And Abomination Factory. Dagger of Fate. And we are playing against the new Rogue class or Assassin, whatever. And Target Bows and Allies Poison, and all damage is doubled to him. That's nice. Uh, let's see what we are going to discard here. We are going to ditch the Abomination Factory because we don't want to hard cast that card. We want to look it up with our ability and play it then. Let's see another Wisp. Fortified Wisps here. And Deck of Fate. Let's play out these, uh, this one. And we'll just enter in here. So let's get up with a quick start here. And maybe some hard cross priest of the light. Next turn. Comes a knight all. It's okay. And let's get rid of one fortified wisp. Let's look through our deck for a abomination factory. And let's get rid of another fortified wisp. Let's make it a 4-4. Four, four. Hit him in the face. And we are going to hard cast this weapon. Pump it up. And hit him in the face once more. For 3 more damage. It's down to 20 already. Next turn he can use his ability unless I play this, uh, this Priest of Light. Let's see what he's up to this turn. There comes a fortified wisp from himself. Oh, and the ability costs three resources. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, that's a little bit of an error of me. Let's get rid of one tome of knowledge. Plays a fortified wisp. And we'll just use the ability to discard this priest, pump him up. Ooh, almost forgot it. Use the ability. And we'll just kill the Night Owl. So I do need to pay attention on these cards. I uh, I played this assassin with my first deck that I built with this uh, Shattered Fate. I was thinking that I thought it was costing four resources or four shadow energy, but I was wrong. Doesn't matter. Let's regain board control. ASAP. What is he doing? He's going to target one of his allies. What will happen? Well, he's thinking about which he's going to target. He's guessing. Target other friendly ambush game ambush. Oh that's pretty nice. He gets plus two attack I think. Plus two health. Plus one health plus two attack. Nice. Let's skip it. Let's draw a card. Let's use his factory once more. Discard him. Pump it up. And he gets to play. Well, 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 what do we want to do? I do think we want to go and hit him in the face. And we'll just enter him. We still have 20 health. And he got 3 allies, 3 cards. And I only have 1 card. Let's see, there comes a smoke screen. What was that? Neighbors are cheering or something. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... My neighbors were cheering for something. So he's going to kill off my ally and smack me in the face. All the damage. Well, it's not a lot of damage. What does this card say again? So is your hero, all of your. Okay, draw a card. Let's 
use the ability to search for... No, not that one. We want Abomination Factory. Going to pump it up a more. But we do not want to see an assassination from it. Because this ally is getting pretty scary. Let's draw a card. And that's Abomination Factory. Oh my god. What are the odds? You know, I, I, I look through my deck for Abomination Factory and then draw a card because the chance is smaller that I would draw one and I just draw, drew, drew one. <laughs> so that sucks. Well, I guess we're going for his face now. Won't we? Or take down another ally and buff him up. Because I don't like to see more allies here on and play on his side. He can activate his ability now and deal double damage to him. There comes the stop thief. Night Sentinel is going to boost someone, probably him. Because he's pretty nasty, this nightshade. Or give something else ambush. Mm, okay, what's going to happen here? And this fortified wisp may not die, man. He just can't die. He's going to use his ability. No, he didn't. He's taking down one of my allies again. With a pretty nasty name. So I'm just going to call it the pirate. She looks like a pirate though. She's standing on a ship or something, holding the ropes. She does look like a pirate. Let's see. I'm gonna play this card to cut from his hand. Okay, this is a nice ally, but we are not going to cross this one. Let's just make this a massive one. Now it's 6 8, with damage reduced by 2. I can pump it up once more, but we don't have to. Are we going to take down his allies or his face? Let's take down his allies. Pump it up some more. 7 8 now. So it's pretty big. He would need an assassination now. He can still use his ability, but it won't uh, receive any damage from the poison, so. This would deal 4 damage to him. 2 gets reduced. Another 2. And another 0. So. Yeah, this is pretty pain in the butt for him. And I can still pump it up. But he removed my Tome of Knowledge, which is pretty nasty. And I do think we need to go for his face now, because... Destroying his allies doesn't matter, because he keeps attacking me. So... Let's do some math next turn. It will take me three turns to take him out. Unless... I'm just going to do this, cost this one, use this, discard this. We'll just bump him up, okay. Hit him in the face for eight, and we'll just end turn. Now we have a little bit of uh, a human shield here. This wisp uh, is going to take some damage, I think. Now he's going for my fortified wisp. Let's see what he's going to do. Two damage. Oh, the ambush is just nasty, man. Two more. He has ambush as well. So he's going to take it down, isn't he? Yep. It's going. No, he cannot take it down. Right. Still has one. He has haste. Ah. Uh, there he goes. I should have attacked the knight all last turn. That would save him like four damage. And now we are doomed. 
this is. That. Let's smoke him. Boom. Well, what can we search for? Tome of knowledge, maybe? We still have one? Nope. All of the tomes are gone. So we just take out our weapon. And smack him in the face. And we just attack. Bring him down to 11. But I do think my deck is really buffed out, so... It's, it's tired right now, you know? I cannot win this game anymore. There's no possibility of winning this game. He comes with some more allies. And yeah, guys, I know mistakes have been made, but... Forgive me, it's a new deck, it's a beta. And I'm more of a visual person already with these cards, these placeholders, I really hate this. I really hate that. You don't see the real card images, but... Uh, let's see here. Okay. Well, we should have sacrificed this one, but... It's already too late. Let's just knock ourselves down. And die honorably. Raw. Chase him for three. Hitting myself in the face. And we'll die like a real hero. Well, we gambled and we've lost. There comes his own fortified wisp. And I do the. That's one of the better cards from this set. Fortified wisp. Because it's pretty nasty to get rid of. And also, I like the Gravemonger very much. The card that says four resource for four ally. Uh, if you have six or more cards in your graveyard, exile one of them. And it gets plus two plus two. So you have for, for four resources, you have a six six ally. So skip here, give him the GG. Yep, GG. And yeah, next time better. And I would like to see some changes in this deck, but I do know do not know which card I should take out or put in. But uh, yeah, we we'll, we we'll just keep tweaking it until it gets better. Well, I hope you still like this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers.